2020, there's been um, some serious delays with stuff due to this coronavirus, which is really holding things back. I'm getting a lot of things from China because they're cheaper. Um, so I've, I've had to wait for a lot of things. So I'm going to give you a brief uh, update on how the van is looking currently and what else I need to do uh, despite delays with deliveries and bits and bobs. Um, so it's looking all right, it's looking good. Um, just again, things I can't finish yet until I get all the parts, but they are on their way, um, which is great. I finished the shower door. I haven't painted it yet and I haven't put in the um, tough and glass window, but you'll see that when I give you a little tour. So I'm going to start with the uh, front of the van. Oh. <laughs> So what I've done to the front is obviously I've carpeted the roof lining and I've also carpeted behind the driver's seat. There needs to be a, um, I'm going to have a corning uh, carpet trim corner going along this, this edge here. This um, cladding, wooden cladding is going to be whitewashed. I'll show you in the van into the van. So we've got here the cupboard. I've already um, wired in the LED lights. They connect up here. That's for shower. Sorry, that's for the cupboard and that's for the um, porch light. There's no power. I just run it off the battery from the drill just to see if it works, but it does work, which is cool. Um, that's the cupboard. So we have the shower. Shower door fits nicely. I'm waiting for the hinges to come. Um, so it opens. I couldn't afford to get that retractable shower door. It's like 250 quid. So as I, yeah, made one, it works lovely. It fits well, just got to wait for the glass. Um, like the toughened glass to, to, to come. Um, then I can paint it, put it all in. The shower, the shower itself, I'm going to be doing uh, today. I'm going to do all the tiling today. Um, I've got all the tiles, so that's going to be the first job. So let me spin. I can't spin it around, actually. Aren't so here yeah, we've got the we've got a cupboard on a latch. It's got your boiler and then there's going to be a shelf just above the boiler and you've got um there's going to be hanging rails which is very nice and we've also got a bottom bit a bottom drawer as well and then moving over to the uh i would say like a well it's a cup it's a food like i can't know larder cupboard uh, pantry um I'm going to paint all inside here. I'm going to finish off all this bit. Um, it's just the finishing touches which get to me, but I'll get it all done. So we have here the worktop, another worktop. Uh, this is solid oak. It's untreated at the moment. I'm going to stain it. Maybe like we have here the chest of drawers, which took me forever to get done, as you probably saw the stress that that caused me um so it's got wood clad in all the way down the window sill is so the window sill the window is going to be framed all the way around and i'm going to put a window ledge across the bottom and up the top um overhead cupboard stores uh these parts i have left undone for the time being only because i'm planning on putting on a roof rack um to hold the solar panels and also i'm going to probably put like some sort of like storage box on the top um just so if i need any more storage i can and i think having having more storage in the van is going to be handy uh, just because i don't know what i might bring with me i don't know what i might pick up along the way 
and I don't want the van to be completely cluttered with million and one things. Um, I'm going to be taking a few tools with me, I think, just in case I need to do anything that needs to be fixed there and then, because I don't know. Um, so we have here the storage, under the bed storage, which I've done. Um, I've just painted them, given them the first coat of paint, but they are quite deep. They're on hinges, but I'm gonna be lining all that and then carpeting it all, just so it's nice and neat. Um, these things are for when the table drops down and it makes the bed. I've ordered one of those swivel table mounts uh, that makes the table move around so you can get access straight to the back um, if you wanted to, which is handy. Right, so we've got here the kitchen. Um, cutlery drawers, utensil drawers, and I've made a little um, a little dustbin. I'm gonna line with uh, dustbin liners. Fridge, oak top again. I'm gonna treat them all. This is the sink. Uh, these are the taps. They're on a swivel. I've mounted them this way. One, because I couldn't get enough space behind here. But then two, you can always swivel it outside the van. But then you've got the added bonus of being able to use the spray. Four ring gas hob. Still needs to be wired up and connected to the gas. The gas canister is going underneath the van, which will uh, fuel the hob and the boiler. Happy days. Then underneath, we've got obviously the sink drop. I've had to make a little shelf here. Um, Doors going this way and that way. Um, and then we've got here cupboard doors and the same down there if they decide to open there we go. wine rack is going in there we've got a wine rack and then we got here a cupboard so so what I'm gonna do with the ceiling I've decided to, again, plans have changed. I'm gonna use the wood cladding on the ceiling. It's, 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 I'll show you actually what it looks like. It's this stuff, see that? It's thin, it's really flexible, um, and it'll probably bend to the ceiling. So the plan is, yeah, put this along the whole ceiling, it comes in, 2.43 meter strips. Um, attach it to the ceiling. If you get the idea. And then stain it, probably with some like nice wood stain to bring out the grain. And then that should look nice. Who knows, eh? Trial and error. You never know. Right, so um, that is the general van tour, hold on. There we go. That's the general van tour. I'm leaving this open. Gonna be putting rails and a blackout blind and I'm gonna make a box. So down there is gonna be a box, like a little lid, so I can put stuff in there. Um, I don't know how much storage I'm going to actually need, so I'm just trying to utilise as much space as possible. Uh, the last thing, I, last thing I want to do is go away and be like, oh, I wish I'd pack that, or I really need that. Mainly tools and stuff, I think. I don't, I, I don't, because I don't know what, what could go wrong. I need to be able to fix anything there and then, should I need to fix anything. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Right, so the last thing that I haven't shown you yet is um, 
which is a nice touch. I've got um, so I've got LED strips, and they are going to be in a opaque sort of aluminium case, so the light diffuses softly rather than sort of like LED strips do. So I've got LED strips going all the way down one side and then the other the other side and then also I've got them underneath there going all the way down and underneath there going all the way down and that is all going to be controlled by um, four switches here so I've got one switch for the main lights another switch for the um, under covered lights um, switch for these two lights and then the other switch for these two just so it gives me a lot more flexibility on how much light and what type of mood setting I want because I just don't know if it's I don't have the van so bright all the time but then if you're sitting back watching the film having a couple of beers you might want to have a, a few LEDs on or you know maybe maybe just these ones just so it gives a little bit of light but it's still cozy don't know we'll see um but yeah so today i'm going to start the uh tiling of the bathroom uh, i'm going to take this door out sand it all down um paint it and wait for the hinges to come so i can put the big hinges on it